Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my mod tutorial playthrough. And I got enough mantamite to make the crown of mantidia. And I also uh, killed the moon lord a couple more times and a fox just now. But one thing I'm going to do, we're going to grab some candles here. And let's see, they reach from the bridge to right about here. So... Oops. Pretty good little range, honestly. Alright, we're gonna head over the jungle, though. I do have the, the Crown of Mantidia now. So it's time to take on the, uh, the Mantid Matriarch. Right, you know what? I really need to streamline this a little bit. Alright, and down we go. And all the particles. So this thing is full right now. Cool. What I'm going to do is plunk our candles down right here. Especially the regen one. It really actually seems to do large amounts of healing very quickly. And yeah, I'm already killing more mantis and stuff. There we go. Alright though. So got some mantis. Mantid carapace, living branches, which is probably a good thing. I had twenty three manta bars. I don't think that's enough to make much of anything. But got a wealth head buff going, so Gonna bring in our matriarch. She does summon mantis throughout the fight too, so. You know, actually I probably should be Getting my cryogen staff up. Since I never. I only caught a Ravager once. And uh, I didn't get the, the sentry weapon off of him that I wanted. And by the way, this. My computer's for like actually having slight issues with this because of the amount of particles and stuff like that. So, we're moving at about half speed right now. That's how quick this thing can be. And she's very tanky. But the good news is, is her body by itself does not actually hurt. Her claws hurt, especially when she's swiping at you. Projectiles hurt, but uh, yeah, she herself doesn't actually hurt. Do not take her to the surface, though. You will regret that rather quickly. Hang on, let's get a... Actually, damage reduction is not going to work on her. because She's not a Calamity boss, so... There we go. A bit of Icor should help, though. Ah, and looks like she's immune. Okay. And... Oh. And she does poison you, too, by the way. Uh, Manta toxin. It's, uh, it's a pretty nasty thing, actually. Oh, now she's got her shield of mantids up. Hooray. Oh my god. Like a pinwheel of fancy lights, honestly. And my arena is definitely is not big enough for her. Alright. Oh, yep. Just reached out and gave me a little love tap. Oop. Nope. Go 
good and heal. She'll spawn in healer mantis occasionally too, which if you find those things, you have to get rid of them quick. Because they actually heal her for considerable amounts. Good. Drink some tea. Okay, so my frame rate's picked back up now that my uh, my cryogenic stabs are gone. My cryo stars, what do you want to call them? Oh, she got a shield back again. And, whoop, nope. There you go. Let's go ahead and... Oh, where the hell is the buff at? There it is. Whoop, nope. Nope, stop that. Cease and desist. Nope. Okay, got her down to under 20% now. I've had her here before. And she healed. All right. Yeah, you take her out of the jungle or to the surface. Yeah, she definitely enrages. So do be careful with this fight. Probably would have been better off fighting her inside the jungle temple. Got more vertical space in there. Let's switch over to torches. All right, she's down to 10,000. And four, three, two, and dead. All right, we're out of here. I'll leave before things start overwhelming me again. Uh, let's see, blow bug, that, da, 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 da. perennial, get that. There. Yeah, the cryogenic staff can go up there for now. Stress bills. Mm, got some. First parts, got the mask. Got mantid lifeblood. And I got the trinket. Up to a small chance to inflict mantid toxin on hit. Summons up to three uh, healing mantids over time that greatly increase your life regen. Lose a healing mantid every time you take a hit. It's actually not a terrible thing there. And the mantid lifeblood is... Uh, we can use it for Mantavite Chestplate, which, by the way, is Summoner Armor. And there's a Healer and Warrior Helmets. Warrior Helmet has 10 more defense. Oops. But the set bonuses are different, so... Uh, healer heals you, and then the Warrior actually does heals like extra damage and whatnot. There's the Mini Mantid Staff, which would probably be a good idea to start off with that. It takes 10 Mantamite Bars, 4 Mantid Carapace, and 3 Mantid Lifeblood. All right. Let's get that away here for now. I can make the mini mantid staff now. 206 summon damage versus my butterflies, which were 80. So, yeah, a little bit different. I was able to make a whole whopping one bar of mantid. Mantamite. I need 15, 27. 40 bars. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to our butterflies. And probably the dragon too, actually. Oh, hey, my frames came back. And the butterflies can go away now. They serve you well for quite a while. Honestly, I don't need the... And the Aeon staff is only really good for invasions. Dragonheart 1. I keep meaning to use this, and I never do. There's a large rage zone at your cursor's location. Players within the rage zone deal 15% increased damage. And I always forget to put it down, but it affects my minions while I'm inside the area, so. Oh. 
13. I got these ducks down here that can't do anything about. Damn ducks. Actually, let's go ahead and pull out my dummy. And uh, 13, 15,000. Uh, hitting 16,000 at times. Yeah, these guys are they're quite a bit more insane than the uh, than the butterflies are. It's definitely an upgrade. Actually, uh, what was it? Medallion, right? Go ahead and make like two of these up. And eat some more food. Bring some chai tea to keep the other spawns down. Not like I have a huge problem with spawns, you know, around my base here because all the NPCs, but... Now, the Mantis do have a, a limited aggro range, unfortunately. But, uh... So I have to stay close, but the, yeah, they do a lot of damage. And did I get the Spike Crag Staff? I got the small, that was a small one. Okay, that's the prefix, but Ultimus Cleaver. 501 melee damage. Hyper Flesh Totem has enemy contact damage. When you take contact damage, effect has a uh, 20 per second cooldown, okay? Infernal Blood. I already drank that, so just toss that. And got some cores, got some bars, greater healing potion. I'm fully healed, so. And. And he's dead. Ow. Blood Pact. Doubles your max hit points. Allows to be critically hit 25% of the time. Okay. Flesh Totem. Uh, hematomesis. Brings blood up from the underworld, pretty much. But not the thing I wanted. Uh, let's bring this up here. Let's let that. Glass Spike Staff. That's from Cordy's, huh? Uh, glass and silver. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I never got around to that one. But let's get this stuff put away. I'm going to have to do some farming, it looks like, of the uh, Ravager. And I need to farm some Mantis things. This wouldn't be a bad thing to have around permanently, either. Let's see, do I still have all 13? I do. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, some of them will disappear. They just randomly will just like, oh, oh, my must go. My people need me or something. I don't know. But I think it's time to go do some farming in the jungle. And there we go. So I'm not going to do this on camera because that would be... I'm stuck inside that block. Okay. That would be very slow. First, since I'm going to have to actually... Can I clear out some blocks here too? Hey, BF. Oh, I see life fruit. I never get my farm set up, which I need to do, actually. This would have been a better spot to fight, actually. I, I forgot that I cleared out a big chunk of the top of the uh, the temple there. Ooh, that turtle died. You know, now. And... Yep. 
everything goes squish. Yeah, this would have been a lot better place to fight the Mantic Queen. Or Matriarch. Right, let's just go ahead and pitch that for now. It's pretty much just splat everything. Oh, I actually I just dodged the acid. Wow. Oh, it was the, uh, like the plague, uh, slime. Okay. And we got a absinthe fury from boulders. So I'm going to do this for a while. And when I come back, I'll have the stuff necessary to make the, uh, the mantid armor. All right, we're back. And there we go. <laughs> All right. Now I can see what I'm doing again. Let's see, I'm probably going to run out of chlor... Actually, it needs chlorpite ore. Perfect. Alright. But I needed 40 of these things to make the armor. And I actually ended up with some extra resources, which... Eh, probably not a bad thing. We're going to make the, the healer helmet. The chest plate. And I don't have enough manted lifeblood now. Oh... All right, let's take another another stab at this lady here. Put that away. And let's go ahead and head on down to the probably better option of an arena. And incoming. Oh, you know, it might help if I... Uh, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, and she's got some defense to her, but these minions are definitely doing more DPS than the, the butterflies were. Oh, okay, yeah, I need to, uh, more attention to you know the actual fight. I don't have my candles down here though. How big of a difference is that going to make? Pretty sizable one. She is handing me my ass right now. Alright, so honey is gone now. I can heal. I can drink some more tea. Alright, now I'm feeling better again. I resized my window. Alright, looks like everything's fine. Alright, cool. Heal, and she died. Alright. And it was a lot quicker fight, too. Eh, 20 more. Sweet. Got the mask again. Alright. Much better. Put that away for now, and... Mantamite leggings. There we go. So right now we're at 13 minions, 127 defense. 13 minions, 136 defense. And set bonus. Minions and sentries can spawn healer orbs when hitting a foe. Also immune to the toxin. But let's see, we're looking at 14... 
34. 52% uh, damage increase. Slime is stuck under the bridge. Alright, so let's go ahead and stack the money away and. Sell us another ancient medallion. And just kicks. We'll make it morning, night, morning, night, morning. I can deal with Battle Deluge and Cold Front. I did not want to deal with an Ash Storm. <clears throat> Excuse me, Ash Storm, and I did not want to deal with the uh, Heat Wave. Not when we're going to be fighting a boss. Can you see all these green orbs showing up? Every one of those I pick up is five. And the cool thing is, heart re they work with heart reach potions. Cool, Ravager's dead. This weird little dick rocket thing is still trying to nail me here. There it goes. Alright. So, what did I get from the uh, loot bag here? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, shoddy Ultimus Cleaver. Mm -hmm. Infernal Blood, don't care about. Flush Totem, don't really care about that one either. Or that mask, or that, or... Or that, mm. Uh, or that, really. And I'm, I think I've pretty much gotten beyond the point of uh, money. A couple hundred platinum. I think I'm doing okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get this stuff put away then. And I guess while we're here, let's look at the uh, electrified gel. Makes the gelatinous amalgamation. I mean, bars of life. Electrified gel, aluminum gel, purified gel, regular gel, and three luminite. Summons the deity of amorphous creatures. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's uh, in this list here. Uh, no, it doesn't even show up. Oh, no, there it is. Guzma. Use an amalgamation anywhere. I guess the next boss to fight, though, is the Propane Guardians. But... I'll worry about that later. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Uh, I've got my farming done, all that. Got my, you know, my new killer armor, which, not really a killer, but basically I just need this armor to beat Providence. Because then I can get access to the Terragon armor, which is even better, so. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time. Sign signing out. Have fun.